Hello and welcome to the Embroidered Elephant channel. Today I will be showing you around my small craft room. Um, my name is Kim and I do a lot of sewing and a lot of crochet so let's start it off. So we start the realistic sewing room tour. Um, this is by no means perfect but it works for me. So right away when you come into the room um, you will see that there's an iron, well, a makeshift ironing board. So we've got the iron, the ironing board, and um, this is a little table. You can see the sewing machine underneath. And because it's not overly strong, I have propped it up with a camera, um, camera stand. I've forgotten the right word for it. And then again, under here is all of the clothes that I need to alter. Um, I hate altering clothes, hence why they're still down there. And then right away on this wall, um, you can see a mountain of um, different things. So we've got family pictures, little arts and crafts, um, origami, and all of these post-it notes are where I organise my videos. So I have um, one panel for the ideas I have, one panel for recorded, and the last one for um, ones that need to be uploaded, so that's all good. And then here um, I have, I'll show you a better angle. So here is a um, clothes rack. Very, very simple. It's the idea that works for me. So I sell a lot of um, project bags online on my shop. The link will be below. And all of these project bags are in the shop. Um, so there's a lot. So just go through a few. Um, this one. Ones with zips. Monet. Um, and as part of this, I have found these little clips. This on Amazon these little clips I don't know actually what they're for but I hold two or three bags per one I just put a little bit of um, brown paper in between so it doesn't mark the fabric and I also have these um, wardrobe organizers so what they're ideally for is you hang clothes on them and then when you want to have a look you hang both you can hang both sides on there it saves you wardrobe space Obviously, because I've got so many bags, I can't really utilise that. Um, but that's what works for me, and I thought it was a great idea. Um, and then just on the end, I've got all the market bags, all the tote bags that I make. Um, however, I am looking to get a rail that comes out of the wall to hang all of my market bags, just so that they're not as squashed up. And then underneath, um, these are some um, works in progress. Um, lots of different sewing um, projects. I've got my advent calendars and my stockings there, um, which I can't hang up for the moment, but they are good. Um, and then I've got different um, bits. So I've got um, some of the things I bought from America. Um, I've got a fabric from America, which is part of my, I'm doing a series on. Um, then I have got um, my crochet ball winder. It's not the name for it, but that's what I can think of. And I've got um, some blockers and some mats as well for um, blocking my crochet projects. So that is that. Um, just a side note, I know that I've mentioned this before, but I do actually keep all of my um, Amazon packages and various different packages. I reuse them when I sell things on Vinted. Sometimes if they're in good condition, I can use them for Etsy, although I prefer to use new materials for that. Um, but that's just one way that I um, support the planet because realistically, they can last much more than one time, can't they? So next we come over to this big chest of drawers. So on top, there's just lots of random notepads. I've got just here a variety of different sewing and crochet patterns. Some of the smaller bits I sell, so some of the smaller um, purses. I've got some gift tags. I've got some notions pouches, um, 
so they're sat there they fit really well actually and then in here I've got various bits so um, in here for example um, I've got some um, wrist warmers crocheted wrist warmers I have got um, I've recently uploaded these as well um, these are some leaves that can either be used as motifs or for putting your tea and coffee on or in other projects um, some coasters some hair bands which are really really comfy actually and bookmarks etc and then um, as you go down there's folded tote bags etc etc this pile here um, is a bit of a mess so you've got my grey sewing box which has everything in it the basket at the bottom has all of my uh, Christmas fabric which I will be using over the coming few days um, and then this pile here so a lot of this is fabric um, to be used as lining and also a lot of it is for uh, various different projects again for this December series then as we come around here this is my shelf so up there is just lots of stuff we don't want to talk about <laughs> including um, various crochet and sewing books um, long forgotten projects etc etc lots of stuffing so this is where all of my fabric is um, to the left hand side that is the fabric that I'll be using in totes um, everything else is either lining or um, for project bags or other projects and in the middle grey basket is all of my um, sort of leftovers my small little bits and I have shown this before but I put all of my fabric or I put a lot of my fabric when I've got enough to sort of organise it I put it on these cardboard boards um, and that helps them to stay um, neat and tidy, helps them stay upright etc. Um, in here is all of my yarn um, which I will be going through at some point how I organise it or how I organised it. This is my sort of decor so I've got a puzzle piece here that I did with my brother and my sister-in-law um, I've got some flying geese of course and I've got various um, big notepads so this is my little whiteboard I use this for any little to do so that they don't get lost this is my big one so I um, organize or I thought out all of the steps of making a bag and I wrote them down so that all of the bags that I've got in various stages of process I can keep a um, an eye on. Uh, I've also got how many listings I've got online which is uh, incorrect at the moment, it's more than that. Um, what items I've got online and different projects that I've organised. So um, This is actually where I take a lot of my pictures for Etsy. So I've got a little board that um, goes down it's a bit ratty now um, the board goes down on the bottom and that's where all of my projects sit and then this is the background the blue bit this is the interesting part so I've got my brother um, overlocker here it's a lock m3 4 3d um, this was bought um, fairly recently and I use that for um, a lot of my sewing projects um, when I need to use it or when I use it I move it over to sort of the middle so that I can use the foot pedal and control the fabric etc. Um, this is my sewing machine as well. So this is a Toyota Super Jeans. I've had this for a few years but it's still going very very strong. Um, and it's the same with that. When I need some space to do some cutting or pinning etc. I will um, just lift this off and pop it on the floor which is not ideal um, but again it works for me and then obviously I move it over to the middle if I need it 
and then it means that I've got space to put both of them out. So if I'm doing a, a project that needs an overlocker and a sewing machine, that's fairly easy to do as well. Um, and then I've got um, this, which I think a lot of people have if you sew quite a lot. So this is for all of my thread and I also organise them by with the thread and the um, spool as well. So I've got quite a few of them. And <laughs> if you're wondering about the tape, that's so that they don't unravel. Um, I feel that this is just a cheap tape. So although it doesn't come off of the thread, um, it also means that it doesn't leave sticky residue as well. Right, and then, um, again, this is just a very, very quick tour. So most of my tools sit in here. So all of my um, random bits and bobs, my packaging, so you've got um, tissue paper, um, business cards, labels, etc, postage bags. Next, this is the drawer of mess, so it's got a lot of my um, stitch markers in there, um, I reuse bags for that as well, um, and lots of my ribbons and various bits, bias binding. Next is a bag of project bags that need to be made and in the bottom is um, personal projects that are in progress. So I've got a present there for um, one of my cousin's children. And I think the last interesting part of my room is this here. So this is just a trolley. I think you can buy it definitely in the UK in B&M, The Range, um, Amazon again. Um, you can buy it on lots of different websites. Um, this is for all of my yarn cozies. So you can see that they're all organised. Through there. And again there. And this is my um, sewing machine cover. And then just bare threads and bits and bobs at the bottom. And this is a bag that I need to put online. So I've just popped it there for the moment. Most of the furniture I got from for this room is from Amazon. So I've got the um, the long table is from Amazon. Um, I got the uh, spool threads, spool organisers from Amazon. Um, I got this um, cabinet maybe uh, from well second hand. Uh, from a charity shop and the same as this is second hand. So thank you very much for watching my small um, sewing studio tour. Hopefully you found it quite interesting, maybe it gave you a few ideas or um, if you're based in America and you have a much bigger room, um, maybe it's just quite um, interesting to see how, how I've laid mine out. If you have any questions or um, there's anything that I didn't answer for you or you'd like to know more about, please feel free to get in touch. I will leave my details below. Um, if this video was interesting for you, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you will be notified whenever I post new um, videos. I will be posting videos every day in December. Um, different things, so how to, um, guides, um, vlog sort of videos, um, different things like that and they're not all Christmas related if you're a little bit tired of Christmas already before it's begun. Um, but thank you very much for um, watching this video and until next time take care, bye!